Hello everyone, listen to me carefully. I'm going to share with you things that will intimidate narcissistic people to an extreme core level. But please be cautious with your moves and use it wisely. You wouldn't click on this video if you don't know how they behave, operate and function. You pretty much already have basic knowledge of their nature where they choose to show selective people and circles. What intimidates a narcissist that makes them not to play with you? Number one, a person who is able to think and make a great decision without anyone's influence. 90% of the time, what I know is narcissists don't like people who are strong with their mindset and who are capable of showing a one-man show because they are weak people and being in that position and watching another character being competitive effortlessly will cause serious damage to their ego. When this happens, they will find a way to stop you, but not in a brave way. You know they are cowards. They know what they are doing is wrong and to pursue anything related to their wrong behavior, they need people who will match with their intention to work on ruining your work, project and life. Number two, what intimidates a narcissist that makes them not to play with you? Holding a strong reputation that secures many things. When you have created a strong reputation, nothing will be easy for this disgusting spirit to crush down the respect and power you have owned. Even when people lied about you, the way you live, your behavior and the way you have treated people will expose the liars themselves. They want to run a smear campaign? Until when? Do you know something? Every narcissistic person's group, there will be one person who knows who is the main problem. This is why they don't have real friends around them. Each one will ruin each other's life. And when the time has come to face their consequences, you will receive bad news from all angles who got killed, who met with an accident, who is in prison, who got diagnosed with an uncurable sickness. It's going to be disaster. Number three, what intimidates a narcissist that makes them not want to play with you? Clear thoughts with strong discernment like spiritual discernment, emotional intelligence. Having clear thoughts can create a respectful impact towards your image in others' eye view. Each time they look at others and things go as planned for good people, they hate themselves way more intense and this can cause a serious danger for people around them. Their behavior will go out of control when manipulation technique gets weaker, their criminal mind gets activated. I'm not sure how many of you have the courage to see the tantrum of this adult child. They will throw anything to anywhere caused by that 5 seconds of anger. They literally can kill a person with a forceful action, although they know what they are doing is dangerous and they cannot escape from the consequences. It's about power control and satisfaction. Of course, it's not the same person who they introduce the first time when meeting people. For them, everything is business and supply. Number four, what intimidates a narcissist that makes them not want to play with you? You being a skillful performer with valuable strategy and plans. You being original in public while they are hiding behind one another in a group form which makes real people clearly see who means business here. You don't need to be a super wealthy person. You only need to represent the meaning of discipline and determination. This will create a good contrast between a person who is accountable and an energy vampire. Energy vampires always carry unhygienic spirits and never get close to the beauty of a pleasant personality that shows kindness and respect. Number 5 
what intimidates a narcissist that makes them not want to play with you well developed undefeatable character listen to me carefully this is your powerhouse a game changer they are one step away from ruining your pathway to reach your dream because they are good at reading your qualities and can immediately tell your true nature whether you are heading towards your success or not have you heard this people can feel your presence quality before you say something about you good people aren't going to avoid you but the disgusting one will always do something and react in some way because they cannot accept if anyone in the building steals their attention effortlessly your beauty <laughs> when i said beauty i was not only talking about your physical appearance but also your personality don't you know a narcissist will try to copy your mannerism way of talking body language and ways of presenting your personalities all this are physical beauty narcissists don't like anybody who carries a leadership quality by nature because they always have this disgusting behavior that people must be below them even if they just newly met you if they knew you are a leader for some project or anything that puts you in a leading role to run a system that will create a serious realization in them that you are someone responsible and capable of handling things so your personality already speaks for itself how many times you have seen people who are being greedy for powerful position in a unit or group and all that but doesn't know how to manage or handle an issue when it arises you get what you want because of what you have learned and from the learning you own the skills on the other hand people who want to have what you have couldn't have it because their intention is enough poisonous to block the pathway that they could have if the motive was generated by a pleasant behavior envious people willing to go to any length to do harm for one's satisfaction this is why they hate you to the maximum when you become someone not easy to be controlled you will be hated by all this species for what you have developed with your hard work and hours of practice they want to be you but knowing that they can't have what you have within you is what is causing this big problem look around you and see how many people are speaking about god and acting like holy spirit but in reality they are the number one venomous people who don't like people who are working on achieving a great heights in life i have told you many times when you are clear with what you want in your life friendship partnership or dealing agreement you can see everything and differentiate what is matching with your lifestyle character if you are on the right path and remember all your hard work and effort you have put in to reach a good level you are not going to fall for anything that is not going to work for you who doesn't like to see a renovated house with valuable items a jealous and envious person will be more eager to enter and see everything before others the same goes for your physical and life changes they will do all they can to get any kind of information about you your projects or anything please don't take revenge don't try to give the upper hand just move in silence and maintain distance and don't overshare any good or bad to anyone people who know you for 10 years who you think are your friends can be your enemies tomorrow you must build a character that would make wise people respect you you give respect and you get respect from me with proper manners nothing will go wrong you can't buy respect you must earn respect you can never expect that from a shameless person a shameless person will never value you and always is ready to use your resources don't be too nice and don't be arrogant being natural and humble can make you look pleasant narcissists might be good at acting but nothing lasts long compared to 
an originally well carved personality. I don't know how many of you have seen this. They can act out of character they are displaying in public immediately when people or a person that they see as a target didn't give them respect. They have no real value or quality that makes people admire them naturally. And this is why they are desperately seeking validation from anybody in any shape or form. How many times have you heard that they are willing to do anything with anybody just for the sake someone to see them as a price or high profile? You have to be very careful with this kind of people. Those who eagerly try to be friends with your friends. That's a wolf who hides in a sheep's clothing. A human with good intention doesn't need to put too much effort into proving anything. My only request is, do not be in the place where you are not respected. Being there for someone who wants your company when they know so well that places or situations where they are trying to have you in are involving your enemies. It means they are part of it. Real people will never do such a thing and will never have a thought of putting you in any situation that could cause danger for a beautiful connection. Please read people's mannerism, the way they behave and treat you. Don't waste your time explaining or arguing. People know what they are doing and why they are doing it and to whom they are doing it. A narcissist's main motive is to crush your self-esteem. Because as soon as they set an eye on you as a target, they know you are going to be a successful person and going to change many people's lives. And that is one of the biggest powers within you that creates this evil, envious force within them to make you lose your life. Yes, your life. When narcissists get intimidated by you, they will pull all kinds of disgusting, sneaky tricks to tame you. They can never ever accept anyone to be better than them. Overshadowing them with a powerful presence naturally, confident people are the number one enemy for them. This is why they always want to crush your self-esteem. By doing that, you will lose your identity. And when it happens, you will lose the meaning of your life. You go and ask people who have suicidal thoughts. When they are dealing with a narcissist, they know how to switch up every nerve in your body to listen to their narrative. They know you are a strong person and that's why they devalue you and also say you are an unworthy human. And every devalue statement that they put on you is actually about them. They don't know how to think in a logical way because their minds are designed to function and think in a criminal way to solve an issue. Now you understand why there is a big circle around them? They know people who don't even know them. What does that mean? They stalk people like a hog. They are greedy for many things, things that do not belong to them. They will do all their best to get it. They are not just mentally sick, but they are shameless people in all shapes and forms. Why don't, why don't they say these disgusting things to venomous people? Because they are one. Don't you know unhygienic people don't like clean, organized things? Plus, they are cowards. They have no warrior-like bravery to come forward to battle alone. If you give them space while being kind, they will take everything as much they can and will point out to you that you are empty. Remember, keep an eye on people who praise you a lot and use your images to boost their pride in the places where they go. They are the one of the demons who will welcome more unnecessary problems into your life. Please be careful. They don't have the heart to sense or feel any emotion. That's why they thrive on people's supply as a fuel daily. Narcissists always have this unfinished revengeful thoughts and it doesn't matter if it's one month, 
one year or a decade. They have tattooed your name all over their body. Moreover, you become an admirable person over the years. They don't sleep and can't sleep peacefully because their brains are constantly watching all the victims become super strong and start to achieve greatness while these venomous spirits fall sick losing everything they have stolen by using others. I remind you, you shouldn't have the time for artificial sweet talk. Avoid making a deal or agreement when it doesn't seem balanced. If people say you are so closed up, no you are not. Your body reacts to the opposite energy. That's it. You are not a five year old kid who can't understand what's happening around you. If someone respects you, there is no need for any kind of pressure or urgency. Things will happen without any force because pleasant energy will never do anything opposite of a pleasant character. Before I end this video, I remind you, don't provoke them. Don't waste your time and energy explaining when they know who did what. If you are smart, you can expose them in a black and white like they can't hide their shameless face. But be smart, be wise and protect your peace. It's better to stay out of drama than have a sleepless night. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. Stay safe, be good to yourself, take care.